bags are packed, are you ready to go? Well, the alarm typically goes off at 4.30. This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. Got to get up early if you want to get a workout in. Riding with you in the sunnier days. I wouldn't want it any other way. Got to be here by 7 a.m., so... Yeah, I work out in the mornings to try to just try to keep myself in shape so I can get a tower and do work if it needs to be. Well, wind is interesting because it doesn't matter what your position is, you always have a different job every day. So if you're a, a technician climbing towers, you know, you could be doing a service one day or a gearbox change the next day or a repair. You have substation work one day or road maintenance the next day. It's always, it's always changing. The landowners use the roads too. Try and keep them in good shape for everybody. Get up tower, do some practice rescue scenarios. We have our morning POD plan of the day meeting. After that's done, we do a a stretch, get the body moving, get the muscles moving, get kind of loosened up before guys break out to the field and go climb. Taking the good with the ups and downs. I want to see how the world turns around. Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. Yeah, you can't be afraid of heights. You have to be mechanically capable. You have to be able to uh, troubleshoot, repair, figure out how things come apart, and put them back together. We take care of, from the, from the pad mount transformer at the base of every turbine, beyond is our responsibility. A large portion of our job is proactive, uh, so we try to stay ahead of things breaking and wearing out and do monthly inspections on all of our BOP equipment. Turbines get inspected every six months, so we try to be, uh, try to stay ahead of any failures. It's just the view. It's probably the best thing about being a wind technician is you are typically the highest point in, in your town, in town, in that area. Um, so you see miles of beautiful scenery, um, lakes, hills. Well, we've got 77 turbines. Uh, we make 200 megawatts of power. If you've never worked in wind, it's probably a surprise to realize how much you work in the elements. If it's winter, you're working in the cold. If it's summer, you're working in the heat. And if it's raining, you're probably gonna get wet. I started out as a apprentice electrician. Everything else has been on the job training. It's probably 280 feet-ish uh, from the base to the top. So, you know, we have a, a climb assist which helps take some of the weight off your body as you go up, uh, which helps a lot, it saves your knees. You know, it's, it's a straight shot up on a ladder, which doesn't sound difficult until you're about 150 feet up and you got another 150 feet to go. And <laughs> and then it's, you get pretty winded pretty quick. So it's, uh, it can be pretty exhausting. Between the three of us, we pretty much know everything there is to know about the wind farm. Opportunity for advancement is, is huge. This is a young company and it's, we're growing tremendously. It's really emphasized here from all levels to make the right choice, do the right thing. You know, do right by the landowners, do right by the community and always you know, just have integrity and do the right thing. That's what we try to promote. Wind and solar are, they're the way of the future, I believe. Best in the industry type site. You're not gonna find any out there better than this site. And I feel blessed just to be here. It's, it's a great place to work. It's a great environment.